Good evening everybody and welcome back. Sammy here at Sammy J Stitches and it is time for a new floss tube. Um, it is Sunday instead of Saturday. Um, but here I am. <laughs> this is a YouTube channel about cross stitch. Okay, so I didn't record last night because I was super exhausted after a full day of my daughter's volleyball tournament. Um, I went to bed at like four in the morning thinking I was going to have to I was going to get called into work last night. Um, then somebody called and asked if they could have the shift because they needed it. I didn't need it. I was just trying to help out. So I let them take it. So then I was like, oh, well, that means I can go to Lexi's volleyball tournament. And then I got like three hours of sleep before that happened. Um, it's, it's just still just a touch warm to not have the air on me. Um, I hope that it's not too loud, but I don't have any control over that right now. Um, the lighting's not great either, but it is what it is. I also knew that this week I am working a shack. It's sort of like a shack, uh, much bigger. Uh, and But it's at a facility. I'm still getting paid as a level three guard, but I'm not in the rover truck, which is it's a nice change of pace. I'm really excited about it. And um, I'll be here for four days this week. So stitching. I'm gonna get some stitching done. Okay, so let's recap last week so that I can get to stitching, okay? Um, so the first thing I worked on, I actually don't have with me, but I did show you in last week's video because it was so late and that was once upon a fairy tale. I worked on it Saturday night into Sunday. So uh, y'all saw that last Sunday. The next one I worked on Sunday into Monday, and that's all it took to hit its thousand stitches, was growth rings from Ink Circles. Here is the cover photo. And I needed 200 something stitches, and I put in 200 and something stitches. So here's where it's at. This is on 32 count linen in Hecate from Under the Sea Fabrics. And these are two random, I I went to an LNS. I knew I wanted yellow. I looked at the wall, I thought they were pretty. I grabbed them and they are Golden Star from Classic Color Works. And then another Classic Color Works that I don't have the little label for. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it is on a, another video somewhere. So this is where I'm at on it. I still got lots to go on this one. It's it doesn't have a lot of work on it, but it's okay. It's it is definitely one of those projects that I enjoy working on it when I pull it out and then I put it up and I may not see it for a while and that's fine. Progress, progress over product. So that is one of mine that song got on my back Ooh. all right so the next one I pulled out and I started working on this one at work but because I didn't couldn't get a lot of stitches in while at work um, I had to finish it up on one of my days off so I had three day four days of work on this one because uh, I needed how many did I need I need like 800 stitches on it so this is Tired Trio from Pummel's Plum Street Samplers. Um, I just, it is so adorable. I just absolutely love it, it's so cute. I got all three slaws put in. Hello. All right, y'all have a great night. Sorry, actually I have to work. Um, okay, so. Yeah, okay, Terry Trio. Uh, I pretty much from here down is new, all of this. So I got all three slots put in. I gotta do a little bit more on each of their faces and then it's working on these flowers in the bottom down here and we will be good to go. So that light, if I could just like, there we go. That's much better. This is on a 32 count um, Lugana in fog from Picture This Plus. So, 
back. Um, and so tonight I will take it off the cue snap and I will put Raccoon Rabble on and it will be one that I work on soon. So it's just gonna slide over. Um, <clears throat> and I'll explain that here in a second. So the next one I worked on was my Crystal Academy piece for this week. It needed 750 stitches for Crystal Academy and that is Garden Prelude for Mirabilia. So here's where I, I worked on dress, just trying to bring the dress down. I want to kind of work my way towards the bottom. When I get towards the bottom, I'm going to have to do a lot of it in hand. So I'm just getting there so I can knock it out. Um, so yeah, got a lot of dress built in there. This is on a 32 count even weave in Twilight something from uh, Sunny Dice. But I don't know where the little thingy is. Is it on here? Oh, there it is. Twilight Meadow from Sunny Dice Fabrics. So. It does this purple to green transition. It's really nice. That one's going to go back in its bag and we will probably not see it again this year. So, um, And then next I need to get my zombie run completed for Mini Phantom of the Masquerade. Y'all, October is next week. Where did September go? Um, I, I had... I had all my miles for zombie run just in Anzac because I finished it this month and um, Lady of the Flag because I've worked on her a couple times. But I needed Mini Phantom of the Masquerade and House Targaryen, so at least four miles, so that's that's what I'm working on. So I got my four hundred stitches in on this one light just it's horrible it's in a very bad place if I block the camera a little bit it doesn't there we go. so loving the progress on this one and that is not it okay <laughs> I have one more that I'm working on currently but I did put a few stitches into uh, last night so I'll go ahead and show you that but you'll see it again next week this one is not on a Q-snap because it's too small. So this is, and I didn't have cover photos, I'm a mess. This is Leaves of Change by Telen em Emblem. It's very pretty. And I am doing it on a 32 count linen in Black Forest from Picture This Plus. It's a double dipped dark, dark, dark blue fabric. Cause see the light. There we go. Just gotta block the light from the camera. Um, Cause it's coming like down this way, and I can try and move y'all, but maybe that'll be a little better. No, I don't know. It still gets in. Anyway, um, I worked on this filling in this leaf last night, so that's where it's at. That was 150 stitches and I need to get to 547 to get this one to a thousand. So it's the one I'm gonna work on tonight. I think the lighting in here is good enough. If not, I'll put a few stitches into it and then switch to something else. Um, I did bring several whips with me tonight because I knew that was a possibility. So part of what I've been doing is I have everything that's already hit a thousand has gone into my craft room and it is out of sight out of mind right now um which does give me a little bit of anxiety because if you know me you know that i am used to having all my whips with me all the time it's one of the reasons i kept them in the small bags instead of big bags or instead of on the q snaps and stuff um but i'm trying to get better i'm trying to push past my issues and uh my hair keeps blowing into my nose and it tickles okay so then i have another box full of these um with the projects that haven't hit a thousand yet unless except for my hates my hates are all on q snaps one second
Okay, so my hands are all on Q-stamps all the time, um, but but all my other projects are in these. So I have a like a plastic tote full of these, and what I will do is anytime a Q-stamps become becomes available, like when I am done with my video and showing y'all everything that I worked on, which took me all of ten minutes today. Um, this one will stay on the Q-snap, but like this one will come off the Q-snap and then I will use the Q-snap for the next thing that's in that one tote. And so, and then I take that and I put it at the back of a plastic box I keep right next to my institute spot in the living room. And that's what I draw from, like how I decide what's next. Um, also in that tote, and I didn't bring it in, so it's out in the car. I did bring it, but it's out in the car. Um, also in that tote is my um, zombie run pieces because they stay on the Q-snap all the time because I, I have to pull them out so often. Uh, so, so like I'll have um, one of those and then, or I'll have all those, but if I don't need to touch them, I'll pull right behind them for whatever's next. Anyway. I brought all that with me because uh, it, I didn't update it. Well, I usually update it after my video and I hadn't done the video. When I when I do my floss tube in the rover truck, I had to wait till my days off to do it. And then, I don't know, it's a thing. So anyway, I was like, I'm gonna bring it with me and I'm gonna do it tonight. So these will go back into these and I will put them in a special bag that I know to take in the house and put them up in the craft room. And then I will refill those Q-snaps. I did bring a few to make sure I can refill them, stick them in that box, and we will work on them here. Um, I'm doing them randomly. Uh, what The ones I need to work on to finish the thousand stitch goal, um, which is sometimes hard because I'm like, I could, I could knock out like four tonight if I had picked the lower counted ones, but then I would be stuck with only big count ones and that would stress me out. Um, really, I should probably pick a big count one to work on while I'm here this week. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm selecting them randomly. Um, I am at, I believe 30 out of 59. out of 49 yes um i have one that only needs like 49 stitches um and that's my britter cup and then i have one where is it that needs one of these only has 100 stitches in it where is it at Oh, Ill People only has 171 stitches in it, so it's going to need like 800 and something. Um, but it's bulk stitch, so that should actually go pretty fast. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at on all of those. Um, I have new fabrics that I got from a Be Stitch Me Friday Night Fight Night that I was supposed to show you tonight. But last night I put them up in with my fabric stash so I'm super prepared yeah that's about it uh, really this week we went to my nephew's football game they lost but they played and my nephew played pretty well he got a yellow card and that was pretty funny um, and then we I went to my daughter's tournament and volleyball they won their first game lost their next two um what else what else what else what else ryan went out of town and is spending time with his cousins this weekend he'll be home tomorrow i guess that's it that's it that's it so um next saturday i have plans that will mean i can't film so y'all will either see me the next day from the rover truck or the next day possibly from here fingers crossed um, but the, it, it won't be next Saturday again. 
Um, oh, I did Twitch last night. That was kind of hard because I was really tired. I was so tired, like my voice was cracking. It was, it was just like, we're done. Um, but that was pretty nice. We uh, put up those fabrics, folded, put those up and then uh, stitched on leaves of change a little bit. So my next one of that, I believe will be October 9th, 8th, 8th, 9th, somewhere around there. Um, so this week it'll be um, a members only live. I guess that's it. I was really hoping this week's would be a, bit, a little bit longer, but it is what it is. So, all right, y'all have a good evening. Um, happy stitching. Oh, thank you if you're new here. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found something that uh, interests you and keeps you back coming back. If you are returning, thank you for visiting with me again and continuing to do so. This iPad just bouncing all over the place tonight. Um, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, all the ways that you show you love me, and I will see y'all next week.